Welcome back again to Mainline Healthy Living, and it's October, and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we've been talking with our panel of experts about breast cancer, and we're back with our uh, PT expert, uh, Hina Sheth from Rebalance PT. So, PT, wh what is the role of that in uh, a woman who's going through breast cancer treatment? So one of the main things that I think uh, women with breast cancer are dealing with is you know, they're, they're going through radiation, they're going through chemo, and some of them have had mastectomies. Mm -hmm. And what you hear quite a bit is that these women start having everything from head and neck pain, shoulder pain to upper back pain. Okay. And reasons for this is obvious. You're, you know, when you're going through anything surgical or you're doing radiation or chemotherapy, you're changing the fascial and the muscular integrity of the areas, of these areas. Mm -hmm. And so you can get a lot of tightness, and with tightness comes weakness. Right. And so this imbalance can cause a lot of discomfort in that area. Right, because the, the radiation tightens up the tissues, right? Exactly, and, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what, what do you do when you're working with somebody like that? So when someone comes in, I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration. So you really need to see someone that, um, really need to see someone that actually is skilled in this area and understands the effects of, you know, different things such as lymphedema, which can happen, right. um, which is swelling of the joints, which can happen to, you know, it's very common in patients who have breast cancer. And also you can develop different types of what's called cording, which is inflammation of the nerves and um, veins in that area. Right, it can be so very uncomfortable. It can people, be very right? uncomfortable and that can cause a lot of tightness as well. And so many of the things that we focus around is around the fascia, the muscle and the joints. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, as you're going through, again, radiation, post mastectomy, a lot of things start to tighten up. And so if there's all this tightness that's happening to the tissue and the muscle, then obviously it's going to pull head and neck. It's going to pull the shoulder. So opening up that space with various hands on techniques that we mm -hmm. use everything from myofascial therapy to trigger point therapy. There's lots of other things that we do right. working very gently in this area to open that tissue up and then going in and actually assessing the joint. So everything from the head, from the you know cervical spine or the head and neck joints, um, as well as the shoulder joint and the shoulder blade, as well as what's called the thoracic area, which is the upper back. So you okay. have to check that entire area and kind of treat it holistically because everything affects the other. We're not right. individualized Barbie doll segments. Right. Everything works together. And the problem is that a lot of times the healthcare system can get very focused on just bo you know body parts. And yep. understandably the oncologist and the radiation oncologist are, are often very tumor focused and you know, uh, but you as a, as a patient are experiencing all of these interconnected things. Right. And so sometimes you wanna expand your treatment team to make sure that these other symptoms are getting treated so you're not suffering. Yep, yep. And, you know, we, again, when you're, you know, if you end up having, uh, for instance, like post mastectomy and you have a lot of tightness that's happening in the front of the pec pectoralis muscles, and that's going to throw your shoulder off, but what's going to happen is you're going to compensate elsewhere and right. through the head and neck, you might right. compensate on the other side. So you can start developing a lot of these compensatory changes. So really um, kind of focusing again on a holistic treatment and getting the hands-on work as well as the joint work. And then what ends up happening, if you've had this going on for some time, is that the firing pattern of muscles actually change. So now you're not using your muscles in the correct sequence that they should be actually firing. Mm -hmm. So that can actually cause issues as well. So then you have to work on this balance between stretching and strengthening and really re-educating these muscles on how to work correctly. Right. So that's basically what we do is, is a lot of, you know, initially doing a lot of soft tissue work, finding where joint restrictions are and then working on improving those joints and then trying to get all of these muscles to start working in a very coordinated fashion again. And once that happens, that's when pain starts to reduce. They start noticing they're functioning better, right. you know, reaching overhead, you know, putting, simply putting on a coat. I mean, winter's coming right. up. So, you know, reaching behind, putting a coat on, taking yep. care of their children, you know, they start functioning normally again. Excellent. Yeah. Now, can someone go directly and reach out to someone like yourself uh, if they're having pain and discomfort or do they yes. normally have to go through their doctor first? I mean, 
Nope. In the state okay. of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, we have direct access. And so okay. anyone who is having or experiencing any type of these symptoms can actually come and see us. Excellent. Okay. And, um, and so what we are actually doing for the month of October is any anyone who is a breast cancer survivor and is experiencing any sort of upper quadrant pain, head and neck, you know, what we just talked about, mm -hmm. um, they can come in for a free 30 minute what, what we're calling a discovery visit. Excellent. So if they're, you know, because again, some, 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 many of these patients have potentially gone through physical therapy before, but maybe their physical therapy wasn't complete. Maybe it didn't feel like they, you know, fully got their range of motion back. They're still having pain. Something right. feels off. And so, you know, it, it can be a, even a year or two after, mm -hmm. you know, maybe having a mastectomy or the radiation chemotherapy. So if you're having discomfort, give our office a call. What risk is there for a free 30-minute uh, yeah, consultation? Yeah, it's a free 30-minute consultation. 30 minute consultation Absolutely. And we can kind of recheck their range of motion, look at their head and neck range of motion, see if the muscles are firing correctly, and also take a look at their musculature and see what is still involved and what's not normal. And then we can give them some advice as far as, you know, what, what could help. So they can give our office a call. Um, Excellent. We'll and put all that information obviously right up on screen so people can yep. get in touch and in the blog post underneath. So, yep. yeah, absolutely. So if you are experiencing head, neck, shoulder, upper quadrant pain after going through any kind of breast cancer treatment, uh, October is your month. And Hina Sheth is here to do a free 30-minute consultation with you to figure out what's where those aches and pains are coming from. So thank you, Hina. You're and welcome. thanks you for that generous offer. And come back and join us again for Mainline Healthy Living.